Welcome to Hollywood, the land of glitz, glamour, and extreme pet pampering. For many in Tinseltown, dogs are children, and they're spoiled rotten. Mimi is six years old. <laughs> She is our baby. She gets whatever she wants. We don't have kids, so he's our special baby. Maggie here is my fur kid. Tater Tot is my son. He's adopted. A stop at the local Bow Wow Bungalows daycare center is a must for these Hollywood hounds. This is my dog, Dulcinea. I do treat her like a child. There's no question about it. I talk to her. I tell her where we're going to go. She comes with instructions. She always has filtered water. I'm always skeptical when she's not with me. I like her with me, but they take very good care of her here, and she has a great time. I take him about three times a week. Anytime you leave a dog by himself, it's, you know, it's a little scary, but they're gonna have webcams soon, so then I can watch him at work. You tell him in the morning he's going to bellow, he gets his box and he's ready to go. I can be at work all day and not have to worry about him being by himself. I was a little nervous when I first brought Bruce because he was a rescue, and I would call like three or four times a day just to make sure he was okay. And they really like it here. As soon as we turn around the corner, Bruce starts barking because he knows he's here. But not everyone feels the same. There is no daycare in the country that will watch my dog and write down hour by hour what he does. I'm on journal number seven right now. Took Tater Tot on a walk from 3.45 to 4.10 p.m. He went pee pee six times and one time poop barked at the UPS man, huh? You don't like the UPS man. For those who can part with their precious pooch, the Kennel Club offers high-end boarding options. The Kennel Club is a pet hotel where we offer a wide variety of accommodations. <gasps> Hi, sweetheart. This is our moon doggy cottage. What makes this cottage a little unique is we have the webcam. They can go anywhere in the world and watch their dog 24 hours a day. Outdoor activities keep your dog on all fours. Group playtime, doggy aerobics, swimming, and food treats top the list of Fido's unleashed favorites. In the heart of Hollywood, LA Dog Work seems more like Park Avenue than any dog park. From a dog's perspective, LA Dog Works is a dog mecca. It was built for dogs. We're sitting in the dog den. Some people say, well, bunk beds. Bunk beds are tiny dens. We want to trigger their denning instinct, which all dogs have. And then I came up with the idea of having a 42-inch flat panel plasma screen television. My dogs watch Animal Planet and react. I mean, they bark, they growl. It's definitely necessary. In a city where image is everything, your pup can overcome his beauty woes with the help of an expert. I have a lot of clients, actually, that say their dogs literally can't wait to get in. They're clawing at the door to get in. I have a lot of them say that they have to spell my name or else the dogs will know that they're coming in and they get all crazy at home. She's going to have a mohawk that goes all the way down her back. Whatever the owner likes to look at, we'll do anything. We could do color tips. We have color gel for hair. We have all sorts of things. Nice. Painting the toenails have been around for a long time with poodles, but now I think that we're getting it out there. A lot of different breeds are actually getting it. Shih Tzu, Sheep Dog. We can also do designs, French tip, polka dots, flowers. Look at how handsome those toenails are. How about a deeper treatment for your furry soulmate? Aromatherapy, soothing music, and healing hands are a part of the Zen Den canine massage experience. I am doing an acupressure hold on her right now at governing uh, vessel 11, and then there's another one right here, governing vessel number 4. What it does is it releases endorphins to get her to relax. See how sensitive it can be? So just by a little bit of touch on a raw fiber, 
can be really, really sensitive. And what you gotta learn is just by the touch, you gotta go soft. I've noticed myself kind of going in with the move and then the animals kind of lay down and I'm kind of slowly diving in myself. So I think the energy between me and the animal meet at a certain point where there is an absolute happiness or a bliss. The Kennel Club also offers therapeutic massage. It's recommended for most older dogs, but helps when you do it when they're young. And they usually start with the head, the neck, just gently massage it, depending on the dog. If the dog is old, uh, stiff joints, gets up slowly, can't stretch like he used to, it's best just to give that muscle a little rub out. It does calm them down. It lets them know that they're being taken care of and, and they're getting nothing but the best treatment. We also have a wellness program where the dogs sleep on a magnetic bed and then they get a massage with a palm mag and what it is, it's magnets that rotate at a high speed. It brings the circulation to the surface and it helps the dog in healing naturally. Losing weight isn't easy for man or man's best friend. Heidi is an overweight dog. She's on a light diet. She does treadmill twice a day, and then she goes outside for playtime. Sit, stay. Yay, Heidi, you've lost a few pounds. Good dog. Hydrotherapy is warm water, muscle rehabilitation. It's a little hard for a dog to understand and comprehend the motion of the machine and how they're going to figure it out. Basically, you bring the muscle up to the body's temperature, you want the blood flow to go through the muscle properly, and you reuse it. You do that over time, and what was surgery material has now become fresh muscle. This is her injury leg. Even if the injury does reoccur, the muscle rebuilding has been accomplished. How about holistic therapy to cure those lingering ailments? This is Rosie. Rosie uh, has a fever, what we call fever of unknown origin. And now we're going to do uh, demonstrate a little Qigong. I'm going to emit energy from the palms of my hands to her. Qi is energy, is a, a life force within your body. If you're a Qigong a master that's going to heal somebody else, you concentrate that energy. Many times, when I do it, I can actually feel um, energy blockages. And then after I do the Qigong, it will open up. What do these pampered pooches eat? From high-end doggy ice cream to ultra-specialized diets, this town indulges every taste. A lot of owners bring in their own food. Some, it's fettuccine, filet mignon. We even have one particular dog that we have to go through Burger King and buy him a hamburger every day. Tater Tot is on a special diet. He is allergic to chicken, turkey, corn, wheat, and soy. And so I get fresh venison, and I make either little meatballs or I make a full little meatloaf. So if that's the main course, then what's for dessert? Ah! Taking a bite out of the standard milk bone, specialty bakeries cater to that discriminating dog. The base three ingredients that we use in our, let's say our fresh baked treats, start with whole wheat flour, cornmeal, wheat germ. There's no sugar, no salt, no preservatives, and that puts us a cut above the rest. Probably our most popular treat is the puff tart. It's a low-fat yogurt frosting sweetened with honey. It's in a very simple pastry shell so that little dogs can eat it. So even though everything that we make is for dogs, since it's all human quality ingredients, humans can eat anything that we make. The ruffles, fantastic, not a problem. Mmm. It's like a donut hole. The largest and probably one of our most famous things is the fact that we do birthday cakes for dogs. Sunday mornings from 10 to 11, we earmark that time period for private birthday parties. Usually runs around $100, includes a cake, birthday hats, treats for the dogs, gift bags. For his birthday, we had a birthday cake made for him. My gifts for him totaled up to be $450. Back at the bakery, the costume canines have arrived for the annual Halloween bash. Detective. Here, you want to feel blue out here? 
I'll dress him up and walk in the neighborhood in the next day. He hates it. He hates wearing clothes. He hates wearing sweaters too, but it's, it's cold. He needs to wear a sweater. She's not crazy about wearing sweaters, but they keep her warm and she does get cold. Even if it's only like 65 out, she still shivers. I have great jackets for him. I have, we just bought a, uh, a winter fleece one with like Sherpa. It's so cute. Sometimes he likes it, but today I'm not sure if he likes his hat all that much. He uh, humors me a little bit. I'm a chef. I wanted a matching uh, Doyle puppy and me chef's jacket. All right, Maggie, want to put on your jacket? Good girl. And there you go. A chef and me dog coat. He wears clothes all the time. He has such things as shoes, sunglasses, harnesses, leashes. He has a life jacket. He has um, several hats. He has several sweaters. He has a lot of hats. Graduation caps. Tater Todd sure knows how to work that catwalk. But where did this canine fashion craze start? When it comes to fashion, when it comes to making it acceptable and more lovable and more respectable, Fifi Romeo started it all. Everything is handmade here on site, and it's all designed by Yana. She's the genius behind all the concepts and the trends. Our dog, Yoda, got a cold. Yana said, you know what, I should make him something. So she made him something that was really nice and really fantastic. And a lot of her celebrity friends took note of it and said, hey, can you make something for my dog? And from there, it just skyrocketed. We use various kinds of fabrics. We love cashmere. We are well known for our cashmere sweaters with our bone and heart applicates on it. We custom make everything. This would be the baby outfit with the hat, and this would be the pet outfit. The movie Legally Blonde 1 and 2, we made costumes for Bruiser, who was the main character, and for part two, we made bags that were specifically made to fit Reese with a spoon. Say bye to Yoda. It fits perfectly on your shoulder, and your pet is with you at all times. Now, for celebrity clients, we try to look at who don't we have. We have Cameron Diaz, we have Demi Moore, Britney Spears, we have 50 Cent, Puff Daddy. The list goes on and on. Yoda is never sick anymore. The only thing, he probably eats too much now. I think that's a wrap, buddy. These irresistible pugs are up for adoption at this star-studded Fifi and Romeo fashion show. Mimi loves clothing, and people always say, okay, please, that it's so L.A. that you dress your dog. She loves the clothes so much that when she hears her drawers opening, she can tell it's her drawers and not my dresser drawer, and she screams and runs down the hallway to see what she's going to get. She wears boots, but she actually has to wear them because she has a fear of hardwood floors. <laughs> I designed clothes for like 20 years of my life, and I, I've been a costume designer for 15, and now all of a sudden I'm a couturier for dogs. Is beauty only skin deep, or is there more here than meets the eye? I just see people like dressing their dogs in brighter colors. I see people dressing themselves in brighter colors. I see people talking to each other. And the world is looking brighter to me because of little dogs. To me, it doesn't equal sales, it equals smiles. I think that people in general have a love for their dogs and are willing to spend a little extra. I want every single day of his life to be Birthday, Christmas, New Year's, you know, Hanukkah, Easter. If someone has a spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend, it shouldn't be just Valentine's Day or your birthday or your anniversary special. Every single day with that person should be a holiday with that person that you love. And that's exactly how I feel about him.